My name is Martin Yadeo. I'm the parish priest here at St. Peter's Mary Parish. Um, it's been just over two months since my ordination. I was ordained this year um, on 11 August at St. George's College. And currently I'm here at Mbari. We are actually uh, a Jesuit community of four priests. Uh, currently we are five. Um, two of us directly in the school, myself and Father Emmanuel Kaparasa, who is the priest in charge at uh, the new church. However, the structure of Mbari is actually it's, it's a parish, it's one parish, St. Peter's Catholic Church, uh, with two churches. So we've got what you call the old church, which is the church right here at St. Peter's, uh, where there are schools near, um, near Faro Stadium. And the other church is at Mbari National, we call it New Church. Uh, it's not that new, it was started in the 60s, and one year was started in 1910. Um, Essentially, at St. Peter's uh, Mbari, we've got schools, the primary and the secondary, and then the parish. And in the parish, we've got a number of projects that we do. So we've got uh, social projects, and this often helps with empowering the locals, especially women, vulnerable, poor women, empowering them with something to start small businesses, some, something that can you know, sustain their livelihoods, or a bit of a source of income. Then we also uh, are involved in, in the health and education of the people around, so we pay school fees for some capable students uh, who otherwise would not afford to pay fees, but are quite uh, enthusiastic and bright and willing to take up their education. And these are mainly the ones within Bare. And as well with health, it's mainly helping with uh, buying of medication, basic medication, not the expensive stuff, but something that, you know, to keep um, somewhat a healthy life for the people around who can't afford medication, uh, but are in dire need of this medication. And uh, quite lately, I actually took over from Father Isaac Fernandez, who was the parish priest here. And before he left, he started a number of projects that we are trying to maintain and run with, and really very good projects. One key project is the Team Up to Clean Up Barre, which is mainly an initiative to gather the people around, especially the youth, to clean our own environment, especially here in Bari, uh, and understanding the situation in Zimbabwe, the health situation in Zimbabwe, how things are tough. Uh, the, we had recently the outbreak of cholera, starting from Glenview, and thank God, by the grace of God, it wasn't a big uh, thing in Bari. We didn't have that much of an outbreak as it was in, in Glenview. We don't know why. I think it's perfectly by the grace of God. But in a way, it represents the nature of Harare from all sorts of areas. Uh, but however, from the perspective of the pastor, uh, I think there is, there is a lot that goes on in Bari. It's like the, the dynamism is quite amazing, the positive energy uh, towards you know, the praise and worship of their God. Uh, I found that very, very nourishing. Um, and as a pastor doing my parish work, my pastoral work, I think there is a lot of energy that I get from the people, given their enthusiasm uh, and their engagement with, with matters of faith. Um, and for the most part, I've said the way they conduct themselves, their way of life explains or is actually inspired by their own faith. My joys have, been, have come from the pastoral dynamic of my work. Uh, and, and just the, the faith people have, and, and I don't mean the, the faith of lip service, but I actually am referring to, to how people live out their own faith, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, and my being part of them, and in a way, a shepherd to the people, and for the most part, feeling like I'm actually the part of the flock, part of the sheep, and they are shepherding me in a way. That, that has been brilliant. Because coming into Bara, I'm thinking this could be a bit of uh, my cross, a bit of my burden. Uh, but when you see the joy in the midst of poverty, I think, I think that's, uh, that's a brilliant uh, story to tell. And that too maybe has also come as a challenge, uh, you know, offering my prayers to God, offering the prayers of the community to God uh, with the intention of you know, getting some 
something out of the poverty, out of the sickness, out of the difficulties. Um, so uh, here and there, a, a bit of hopelessness. But at the end of the day, I think, like I said, the people may have been ministering to me that you actually see and feel a lot of hope in the midst of all the difficulties there may be. Um, so it's a bit of a challenge, but also uh, it's, uh, I think it's, it's a light. Uh, maybe also a challenge comes from the enormity of the work. You know, it's not easy, there's a lot of work. So that, that has been a bit of a challenge. Uh, from morning to evening, you, you are quite stretched almost every corner. I think the, the, the numbers we have in Bari are quite huge. Uh, the way people live, um, I wish something could be done there. You know? The population in these flats, uh, in, in smaller rooms, are quite, uh, are quite overwhelming. I think if something could be done there, the housing for the, for the people, and I think a lot more that comes with it, uh, the sanitary situation, the water situation, uh, but the basic conditions of living.